Hi, this is Tony Orlando. And Dawn, Thelma, and Joyce. Talking to the four people you see pictured in your brochure, each represents thousands like them who have gone to technical school and picked up a skill which has opened up a bright new career. I'd like to introduce you to a gentleman by the name of Mark Beveridge. Mark, what were your plans when you left high school? I didn't have any plans. Work was plentiful then, and if I wanted a job, I could get one. Well, what did you do? Nothing I could call a trade. For three and a half years, I built shipping crates and loaded trucks. Mm, how did you like that? Well, I knew it was a dead end. I noticed the older fellows had a tough time keeping up. It got me to really thinking. And then what did you do? I went back to school, started taking mathematics, and got interested in electronics. Well, how long did you go to technical school, Mark? Two years, but I had a new job before I left school. And what do you do now? I work in a research lab building lasers. Are you kidding me? Three years of loading trucks, two years of technical school, and you're helping to build lasers? That's right. Technical school seems like a good idea for a young man, Mark. Yes, it sure was for me. Not just for young men, Tony. Here's a young lady, Kelly Blixton, with a super dream. What were you doing before you went to technical school, Kelly? I was working my way around the world, but I couldn't offer anything but menial labor. For example, while in England, I cleaned out chicken farms. I really loved to travel, but I was working these low-paid jobs, so I started looking for something better. Now, what did you do? I went to a trade technical school. I saw electrical and something clicked. I really love it. And what do you do now? I'm an electrician in a steel mill. A steel mill? Uh-huh. I'm the first, but I haven't had any trouble. People are going to get used to having women around. If you're qualified, you are going to get hired. Kelly, if this voice of mine ever gives out, I may be in the steel mill with you. Lots of people have to start all over again, Thelma. Fred Parm was telling me he injured his back working in a foundry. So here's Fred Parm, almost 40, can't walk, and without a job. What did you do, Fred? Well, the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare helped me recover the use of my legs. It took two years. Then they suggested I go back to school. Well, what had you taken in high school? That was a problem, Joyce. I only finished the ninth grade. I wasted a lot of my early years. Me too. How did you decide on what to take? Art is my first love. I could draw before I could write, so I tried illustration. Well, how'd you do? Fine. I'm now employed as a technical illustrator doing drawings of airplanes and truck parts for our company's parts catalog. Going back to school was a good idea, wasn't it, Fred? Just like a second birthday.